I'm just going to show you the change all feature in Canva, which is really useful. So I've just searched for an infographic up here, um, which is fine. And I found this one here, which looks good, but I don't like that pink color. It's all very pink and that's not the colors uh, I'm interested in. So I'm going to start off uh, by selecting that. And I'll just zoom in so that you can see it a bit closer. So you can see there's sort of a pink background on the text. There's a pink background on the whole design. And then within the images, there's different pinks as well. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, pink really isn't uh, the color that I want. So I'm going to start off by selecting the background of the text. And as you can see, as I click on the background, you can see the color of it comes up here, which is fine. So I click on that uh, and I'm going to choose, for example, to make a dark uh, uh, a dark green in color. So at the moment, it's only one that has changed. But down the bottom here, we've got a button that says change all. And if you click on change all, you can see the whole way through your document. Uh, it has changed everything that was that pink uh, in color. So that's fine. But we still have this funny pink thing that that's in the images. So if, for example, I click on this one up here um, and I click in here, uh, sorry, pick it on the color uh, and decide, for example, that I'm going to make it a, a light green in color and then click on change all. You can see the whole way through uh, it has changed. OK, um, now there's other items. Do you see this one here? We've got this funny little gray color that's in there. So if I click on that image, you can see not gray, it's sort of a beige color. So if I click on the beige color here, um, and then change it over. So, for example, I could make it a dark blue uh, and then click on change all. So here that's changed. The color of that has changed and you can see I've dramatically changed it throughout. Now, at this stage, the colors of the images and the colors of the numbers is a little bit too similar for my liking. So I might select the numbers, uh, the colors uh, behind the numbers and then choose a color down here and maybe uh, decide that actually I'll make it a sort of a greeny color. Um, and then don't forget to click on change all and then it goes uh, the whole way through. So you can see that we've automatically just changed it over to um, a, a type uh, of diagram that is a lot nicer and, you know, well, not necessarily nicer, but maybe more appropriate for what we're trying to do. So the next thing then is actually with a dark background on the text, maybe the, the font isn't standing out too well. So I'm selecting the uh, color of the font here and I can click on font color and I can decide, for example, that I want it to be um, maybe this color here and then click on change all. Now, it'll be nice on these ones. This one up here at the top might uh, be a problem. So we'll just change it all for the moment and you can see the whole way through that's changed. But the only one we want to be different is this one up here. So I'm going to select this bit of text here and I will, oh, I keep doing that. Um, and I'm going to change the color uh, and maybe make it the green that we, we've used for the background. And actually, uh, yeah, so you can see, and I'll just zoom it out again. You can see we very quickly changed this infographic that was totally incorrect in terms of color over to a scheme that actually works well for us.